What does a child raised by a ghost look like? Drinking raw water and eating raw meat. Living like a beast. The story began five years ago. At that time, these two children are still young. The older sister is three years old, and the younger one is one year old. They are living in a happy family, but the collapse of the capital market causes the family to go bankrupt overnight. Their father can bear the shock. He is insane and kills his wife. Then he runs away with his two children, but the car skids and they fall off a cliff. But in the end, they are safe. They walk through the snow and ice and find a small cat and their father doesn't change his mind. He wants to kill his two children here. He will commit suicide later. He painfully takes off his old daughter's glasses, tricking her into looking out the window, just as the father is raising the gun. Suddenly, his daughter turns around. Her father has disappeared. And so, the two sisters wake day after day. Their father still doesn't show up. They are hungry. Just then, a cherry is rolling in the darkness. There is another sound, and the children look up. They catch sight of an evil spirit. From then on, the two sisters say goodbye to human society. Their ghost mother takes care of them and finds them food. She plays games with them and teaches them how to hunt. Five years has passed. The two children's uncle continues to search for them. Finally, one day, someone finds the cabin from the childish drawings on the wall and a pile of air-dry cherry pits. They figure that someone is living here. And sure enough, Oh, my god, can these be the two little girls? They are horribly dry and thin. There is nothing human about them. They are just lying on the fridge. If someone doesn't look closely, he would think the two sisters are some kind of monster. The two children are rescued. After several months of intensive treatment, they still haven't completely gotten rid of their animal habits. The doctor concludes that they are delusional. Excessive lack of love leads to the fantasy of a mother. It's sad to think that they've been isolated from the world for so long. Uncle brings the children home. They eat and crawl with their hands. They sleep under the bed. They are also very afraid of human contact. Uncle, who tries to get close to them, is attacked. Uncle takes out a pair of glasses and puts them on the bed. The elder sister carefully reaches out her hand, picks up the glasses and puts them on. She seems to have some sense. She slowly recognizes her uncle. She goes to touch his face as if she knows him before. She hugs her uncle tightly. At this moment, the elder sister finally remembers her origin. Her uncle is overjoyed. He calls the psychiatrist at the institute. During the treatment, the elder sister reveals a shocking thing. Their ghost mother is not a fake. She really has taken care of the two sisters for five years. Where does the ghost mother come from? The story happened a hundred years ago. Two children are raised by a ghost. They are as thin as bones and will bite everyone they meet. Isolated from the world, they lose their consciousness. They are turned into monsters with no human face. Fortunately, their uncle finds them and takes good care of them for a while. Only then does the elder sister return to normal, but the younger one has not made any progress. She's too young when she disappears. She has no self-awareness at all. She can't adapt to human society, always hides behind her sister, and never eats at the table. Instead, she sits in the corner and eats cherries. At night, the ghost always appears. What the uncle and his girlfriend don't know is that, since the two children move in, the danger comes along with them. The ghost mother does not give up. She stays with the family of the two sister's uncle. That night, uncle hears a noise from the stairwell. He goes out to check and finds a black hole in the wall. He is curious, but black tentacles suddenly come out of the hole. Uncle falls down the stairs. His girlfriend takes him to the hospital in time. Uncle is unconscious. From then on, the responsibility of taking care of the child also falls on the uncle's girlfriend. But strange things happen gradually. For example, the uncle's girlfriend sees the elder sister crying. She goes up to comfort the elder sister and asks why. But the elder sister says she doesn't want the uncle's girlfriend to be hurt too. The uncle's girlfriend is very confused. But the elder sister looks out the door in fear. The uncle's girlfriend turns around immediately, but finds nothing. At night, she has a nightmare. In a dream, a woman breaks into the convent. She takes the baby and kills the nuns. She is panicked and angry. Then she is pushed to the edge of a cliff. With no way out, she grabs the baby and jumps off. The uncle's girlfriend wakes up and finds the two children standing by the bed. They are staring down at the bed. When the girlfriend comes back to her senses, the ghost mother has climbed onto the bed. It turns out to be a dream within a dream. The uncle's girlfriend is so scared that she is sweating all over. Early the next morning, the uncle's girlfriend sees the younger sister sleeping under the... She hurriedly carries the child back to the house, warms up the child's cold hands and feet. At first, the younger sister is struggling desperately. Finally, she comes down in the warmth and softness. 
She feels the embrace for the first time. She also learns to hold out her hand to her mouth. The uncle's girlfriend smiles with relief. At the sight of it, the elder sister is terrified. She knows that their ghost mother is watching them. She knows that their ghost mother is displeased by all this. When the uncle's girlfriend is tidying up her room, suddenly, she sees a file left by the psychiatrist. She opens it. She finds a familiar photo inside. It is the woman in the nightmare. The uncle's girlfriend immediately panics. She takes the two children to the doctor, but the doctor has already disappeared. After he helps the elder sister with psychotherapy, he begins to look for clues to the ghost. He goes to the archives, and he really finds something. Among the relics left by the ghost mother, there is a dead baby's body. To find out the truth, he personally goes to the original cabin. But after he gets here, he dies on the spot. The hospital also receives the news that the doctor has been killed. The uncle's girlfriend is shocked. She steals all the doctor's files. She wants to know what exactly happened. When the uncle's girlfriend understands all the things, she can't help but shed tears. The elder sister goes up to comfort her. However, all this has been seen by the ghost mother. This woman, who has been dead for a hundred years, turns into an evil spirit, adopts the wild children. Therefore, she becomes a ghost mother. When she is forced to jump off the cliff, her grudge is very strong. Seeing that her children are taken away, the ghost mother is very angry. She first maims their uncle, then she gets rid of the doctor. Now she wants to kill the uncle's girlfriend, who snatched the children, to let her die without a burial place. The elder sister knows their ghost mother's anger. She repeatedly reminds the uncle's girlfriend not to be too nice to them. But the uncle's girlfriend is too silly to understand. It makes the ghost mother even more furious. She threatens the two sisters in anger. The uncle's girlfriend comes to ask the two sisters what is going on. The room is suddenly filled with the younger sister's screams. They rush in immediately. They see the younger sister covering her ears tightly. There is also a horrible sound from behind. The ghost mother is crawling toward them. They rush for their lives. But the ghost mother ghost only wants to kill the uncle's girlfriend. She grabs the uncle's girlfriend. Just at that very moment, the elder sister comes to rescue the uncle's girlfriend. The ghost mother let the uncle's girlfriend go for a while, but the ghost mother suddenly crawls towards the two sisters. She doesn't hurt them, she just takes off the elder sister's glasses. And at this time, the two sisters Anne comes to visit them. When she enters the house, she sees hair moving on the floor. She screams in fear. The ghost mother possesses the two sisters and the two sisters are so scared that they are trembling. The uncle's girlfriend, who is in a coma, has another dream. This time, she finally learns about the ghost mother's obsession. When she jumps off the cliff, the ghost mother drowns in the river, but the baby is hanging on the tree halfway. She becomes an evil ghost because of her deep resentment. She mistakes the two sisters for her own children. When the uncle's girlfriend wakes up, the children are gone. She takes the box with the dead baby in it, preparing to go to the cabin. Uncle, who is recovering in the hospital, suddenly meets his brother in his dream. His brother asks him to go to the cabin to save his children. Uncle meets his girlfriend on the road. They arrive at the edge of the cliff in no time. The ghost mother is really here. She opens her arms to lure the two children to the cliff. In the nick of time, uncle saves the younger sister at the risk of his life. The ghost mother is furious. When she is about to kill the uncle, the uncle's girlfriend takes out the dead body in a package. The ghost mother flies over and snatches the child, looking at the remains in her arms. She cries out loud after so many years of separation. At this moment, she was finally reunited with her children. To her surprise, but her sister suddenly calls out for her mother. The ghost mother is instantly awake. Someone is coming to steal her child again. Furious, she becomes mad again, directly beats the uncle and his girlfriend down. She takes the two children and is about to jump off the cliff. The elder sister knows she can't escape, so she decides to leave. But the uncle's girlfriend climbs over again and again, clinging to the elder sister's hand. Finally, the elder sister let go of the ghost mother. She's grateful to her mother for raising her, but she also loves everything in this world. Seeing that the elder sister decides to stay, the ghost mother has to agree. But the younger sister is too young. The ghost mother can't let her go. At the end of the film, the ghost mother takes the younger sister up into the air. Just like many years ago, she held her own child, jumping from the cliff together. But this time, mother and daughter are together.